Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We are going to be going into game two between Recent and Animal. We did see them play one game just a minute ago on uh, Bilshire Beach. It was fantastic to watch Animal taking a very aggressive forward position and just brutalizing his opponent, but you've got to hand it to Recent. He was able to hold that off in pretty decent style for quite a while. It was really fun to watch the micro between these two master level Terran players. So we, here we are on Terminus SE, or Terminus C, I guess it's the Spanish edition. But uh, whatever it is, it does not have any gold expansions on it. Um, and But it does have two master level players on it right now, so that is going to be tons of fun to watch. And just real quick, kind of the story behind this matchup. Uh, we were in a chat channel with Animal, and there was a guy just brutalizing him verbally, just saying some terrible things about his play style and stuff like that. And, and animals just like whatever, let's play, whatever, let's play. And I said, absolutely, I'll host. And uh, so I started inviting everybody. We had all sorts of sorts of people saying, observe, observe, observe. Everybody wants to get on an, in on this action. And uh, the other guy ended up not playing. He said, ah, forget it, and he just bailed. And uh, so animals sitting there in the game, and all these observers sitting in the game. I said, well, geez, we may as well not let the, this go to waste. Asked recent if he would play. He said, absolutely came in and now and we got two games out of that between two master level Terran players and boy are we sure excited and uh, for this second game now but in that first game oh my goodness the micro was insane from both of these players especially from recent who was on his back nearly the whole time really really um, having to do a lot of work just to stay in the game and I mean he had literally less than half the SCV count from his opponent than his opponent and was able to keep defending unbelievable amounts of micro. So really, really fun to watch. And we do have a very early expansion by Animal going down exactly where he wants it. Right next to his minerals that he will be mining from. So not even going to be building it in his base in a safe position. Taking that expansion, feeling very confident that he will be able to defend it. And look at this, we do have a command center for recent going down as well. Of course, this one is in the main, a little bit safer play here, I would say, for recent in a lot of ways. But uh, he is now scouting out across the map, and so is Animal going to be scouting down to the bottom. And recent just barely getting done scouting up at the top, headed over to his opponent's base right now, it appears. But to his command center, almost halfway done, and the command center for Animal going to be finished and already in place, so that is not bad there for Animal. And let's see, we'll, he'll probably be transferring some SCVs down there right away, I assume. And look at this, we do have three barracks. Look at this. There goes the transferring SCVs. This is going to be scouted immediately by recent. Pokes over here, does see this command center already sitting there, and it is morphing into an orbital command right away. So now he is feeling pretty good about his decision to, uh, to uh, expand as well. So... Pretty good play there so far, and now Animal going to be heading into his opponent's base to do some scouting. Unfortunately for him, he will be coming up against four Marines, which should be able to brutalize this SCV very quickly, and they do, not even making it to the ramp. And this SCV is about to go down, but this expansion up and running, if you take a look at the Units tab, a recent actually ahead in this SCV count, so kind of interesting there. And you can see now, because Recent, Recent is taking his expansion right now, and putting down a third in his main, we'll be flying that thing out here fairly shortly, I assume, but he says to his opponent, you're going to expand on me, I will see your single expansion, I will raise you one more, which is pretty big words from Recent, we must say, that is pretty ballsy. Uh, but he knows his opponent will not be moving out here anytime soon, soon, at least not too soon, because he did take that expansion, so he feels that he may be able to defend when his opponent decides to uh, move out. You can see we were pinging the map. I think that was from the chatter. There's You, you can't see what we were saying. I don't know why, but uh, like observer chat seems to be disabled for some reason in the, in the new patches. Or something, but it seems to me before that you could see all the observer chat in the replays. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But regardless, this command center is now completed, and he is going to upgrade that to an orbital command first. That will give him the extra energy, so when he does fly it to whichever position he, he 
Ruby Fields, which we were guessing that it might be here. And now there's somebody guessing that it's going to be up here. And uh, I'm thinking that he's probably going to send it here to this this small natural next to his his uh, natural natural, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. But it's this kind of half base. It does only have five mineral patches and a Vespine geyser. It is not a rich Vespine geyser, but it is fairly easy to defend. There are these destructible debris in the back of that little area, um, but usually you're... A main army is going to be here at this choke and so it's not hard for them to either poke down this way or poke out this way for a flank so defense of this location I think is still fairly easy so that would be my guess as to where recent will be dropping that command center and right now he is using that to build extra SCVs not a bad choice might as well get those look at that isn't that cool we've got some uh, dancing going on a little marine party tons of fun to watch Thank you for that, animal. This is always fun to see. And we do have a factory going down with a tech lab. So that will be really nice. Probably going to see some uh, tank play here. Yes, we do. There goes the tank right away. And now this orbital command moving out for recent. And he's got pretty decent defenses. Let's see what else he's got in his main. He's got these four barracks. He does have one factory. The scan for animal, checking out what's going in the base. He does see this engineering bay, which is pumping out weapons level 1 right now, and he does decide to move back because of that. Thinks that that is probably not a great time for him to be moving out to put on any pressure, so he's going to be sitting back here for just a little while longer. He does have a missile turret in his natural and one in his main. And we've got supply depots going down. He's just about ready to get supply blocked, so very good timing there. Looks like they will finish just in time. There is a scan from recent, checking out what's going on. He does see what's what's happening. He does see a little bit of movement here going out to the center of the map. And here comes the attack right now. And pretty even numbers there, and these last two remaining Marines are going to get the heck out of there. They do not want to go up against a siege tank, which is now in siege mode, going to be guarding this choke here for just a little while. And bear with me because I know, I remember from last night, you'll see me pinging all across the map here fairly shortly, um, but there is going to be tons and tons of things going on in this matchup. So uh, bear with me a little bit. We may miss a little bit of the action, and some of those things, some of those things are, you know, are necessary because there will be action going on in two, sometimes three places at a time between these two gentlemen. And uh, it's going to be tough to watch all at once, so some of the things we may end up missing, and because of the, the amount of action and my very, very slow nature, we may not catch some of it to begin with, <laughs> so bear with me, but we are about to go in on a roller coaster ride. Fairly soon, we see Animal taking a forward expansion as well as this small expansion at the same time, and he's going to be moving out across the map here with relatively small force of uh, Marines. One single tank there. He does see that that was scouted from the Zelnaga Tower, so he's going to be backing up here. He, does, he knows that his opponent will probably be able to get in position for that, so he's going to wisely back out. A lot of these things with, with these uh, higher level players comes down to, uh, you know, to the scouting. And if you know your opponent has scouted certain things, usually, you know, you, you have to assume that they are prepared for that at that point. And we do have some medevacs on the field. Recent going to be moving out with those, I think, here fairly shortly, if I remember correctly. But uh, same thing going on for Animal. He does have these two heading out across the field. There's the ping for those. And we do see a drop from Recent at the same time as they're moving out right here in the back of this small expansion. They're going to be rushing forward here any moment, I assume. Here they go. They're going to be trying to do as much damage here to this command center as possible. And taking out SCVs. Boom, 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 boom. Lots of SCVs going down. And at the same time, we have movement across the map here from recent. He's going to be moving out here, taking out this scout. The, the animal trying to reinforce this position. Recent going to be backing up here. And I think all of these, oh, look at these, all of these Marines are going down. But movement about across the map here at the same time. And look at this drop in the back. There are two tanks in this drop and several Marines and two medevacs going at the main mineral line, doing quite a bit of damage to Recent, and at the same time, Recent attacking the main right down the middle, 
of Animal taking out his main force here. This tank is about to go down, and yes, it does. These Marauders not going to stand much more chance. Let's take a look back here at the main. Lots and lots of damage being done here by these tanks that are sieged up, and these Marines just cruising around kind of in the defensive position. And this whole expansion now going down over here for Animal and about to be rushing into this expansion as well from recent. And you can see this attack still going well. Kind of a base trade situation here at this point. But Animal doing quite a bit of damage and recent just barely being able to clean that up at the back of his main. But recent taking out this expansion. Is he going to get the snipe on this orbital command? Yes, he does. Gonna have to be backing out here. There are too many tanks on this high ground and plenty of Marines here for defense. He's gonna poke in here to see what he sees. Sees that there are too many Marines here to defend. Going to be backing out, so very, very good decision there. Lots and lots and lots of action. My goodness, I'm gonna need a break after this one. And look at this, this forward expansion going pretty well unchecked at this point and is now a planetary fortress is pretty well saturated so very very good there by animal he is staying securely on three bases and recent just now getting his main back up and running so a little bit of economic disadvantage there uh, but he is heavily mining this base that was boy it is almost completely mined out that was fast <coughs> excuse me and recent going to be taking his forward position as well he does have these missile turrets and a sensor tower he does not want to get dropped at the back of his main again do not blame him there that is never a fun situation but if you look at his army he is staying sticking heavily with just marine and medevac I mean we have not seen anything else from him really to speak of let's take a look at the units tab whoops that was the units tab 71 marines 6 medevacs and 60 SCVs that is what he has got he has got nothing else in the way of units we have not seen one single uh, tank from him we do have just more medevacs on the way so very very interesting play here from recent and oh here comes an attack right here we do have another drop in the back of this small expansion going to be getting this command center before it even gets up stimming up here to kill off this tank and he does get the snipe on that tank and it appears that this command center is going to go down and at the same time his main army going to be moving out across the field here animal saying stop dropping there <laughs> He does take that expansion out. Going to be moving up in here and, and getting a flank on this. And at the same time, moving in to try and take out this planetary fortress with these Stim Marines. Is he going to get the snipe on this? Animal needs to be okay, repairing this. It's not getting the repair. And down goes the planetary fortress. That was a brutal loss. He, Animal did, however, clean up this force that was in his expansion there. And uh, now he's going to have to deal with this one, which is a slightly smaller force, but he is definitely at an economic disadvantage. You can see him going straight for this expansion again, knows that he's going to need that here very soon. That was a very substantial loss for him to lose that expansion and all of those SCVs at the same time. And this missile turret just laying waste to these. Is that missile turret ever going to go down before another one? Yes, it does. But only three of those those medevacs surviving that encounter. And now the whole army of, of animal moving in here. Looks like they're definitely going to be able to clean this up. Getting the snipe on those. Is that one going to go down? No, it safely escapes that medevac. Barely getting out of there with seven very, very scared marines. Trying to take this expansion, but it is not going to go down. And recent moving out across the map with yet more marines unbelievable sticking with strictly marine play he has got plus one or i'm sorry plus two plus one for these marines gonna be taking out these destructible rocks making it more difficult for animal to defend this expansion you can see all this dropping and picking up going on here very very good play recent really relying on his ability to micro and we do see he's got this planetary fortress up and rolling at the front. He is now on three mining bases. This one pretty well mined out. Um, his main still just barely mining, and he's putting down an extra command center here. He's setting himself up in a forward position. And look at this drop. I'm missing this drop here in the back. Yet another drop in the back of Animal's main. And recent just slowly picking his opponent apart. Animal getting severely behind in the in the uh, supply count and the army count just not quite enough it's going to come down to this, his use of siege tanks i think at this point to be able to defend so we've got to get these siege tanks in position recent catching wind of that and going to be backing out there as quickly as possible does not want to fall victim to the range of those siege tanks 
going to be backing out here, putting himself, looks like, a little bit more defensively here for just a moment. And it will come down. I mean, Animal is the only thing he's got going for him this at this point is these Siege Tanks. They do have plus one attack on those Siege Tanks and obviously Siege Mode. So, I mean, as long as he can keep that going, look at this, we're taking another expansion here by reason. He moved that one from this small expansion over here to this brand new main. So now on two mains, moving out across the map, he has got nearly a maxed out army. That is 102 Marines he has got on the field right now. This is going to be very, very difficult for Animal to deal with. It will definitely come down to his ability to get good placement on those siege tanks. And it looks like we are gearing up for yet another drop of recent in the back of the main. Is this going to go? He's going to be skirting around here. We do have uh, Animal trying to take an expansion here. That is being scouted by a command center of all things. Here comes a drop right now from Animal. I mean, from recent in the main of Animal. Doing more damage yet again to this main. Killing off all sorts of SCVs. This guy coming down here, it looks like he's about ready to make a uh, command center. Not going to happen. There is a Marine there to stop that. And this attack in the main going to finally go down, it looks like, for recent, but doing quite a bit of damage. And he's going to be taking out this command center. He cannot allow his opponent to get back on his feet economically. And so down they go. Oh, and here comes a drop from Animal, getting completely sniped from recent. So Brutal, brutal, brutal there from, from, for Animal. Really needed to make something happen there to try and put his, his opponent at an economic disadvantage or, or a tech disadvantage or any disadvantage at this point. Now Animal going to be moving out to the center of the map. I think he knows that he's kind of got a last-ditch effort here, but he does have these siege tanks. Those can be his saving grace if he can get them in position and get this army in range of those siege, siege tanks. They are sieged up right now, and recent getting out of there is not going to be moving into that range quite yet. Backing out yet again. Now he's moving forward. You see them sieging up, and look at that. Backs out immediately. Stims to back out. Getting out of range of those siege tanks. He knows that that is his opponent's single advantage in this matchup. And now these tanks getting cut out of position. They're not going to be able to siege up in time. Now this whole army going to be going down. He's getting the flank. Stimming in here, taking out, oh, and there goes the GG. Animal knew it. Those siege tanks getting caught out of position. Oh, my goodness, was that fantastic gameplay. I do want to mention one real quick thing. There is one SCV here that somehow managed to not get killed out of that whole thing. But uh, extremely well played by recent. I still cannot believe he stayed completely on Marines that whole game. Marines and medevacs, Marines and medevacs, Marines and medevacs. And now he's moving into the main of Animal, and this is definitely over. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Animal and Recent, for giving us those fantastic games. That was tons of fun to watch. I am sure the people on YouTube and on the live stream, hopefully, will be interested to watch those games. Man, that was tons of fun. Thanks again. We'll see you guys next time.